thanks so much for your time here with us this morning. Uh, the Guinean Times this morning says, don't smuggle subsidized fertilizer. President Appeals asks farmers to help stamp out their practice. That's on the front page of uh, Ghanaian Times. The fine that this morning says that 2018 interest on loans cost 21.1 billion cities. It represents 55% of tax revenues. That's the finance minister. And uh, the story about fertilizer smuggling uh, gets attention on the finder. The Times, government won't reduce producer price of cuckoo. President assures uh, we're told that IMF is asking government to uh, cut down the, the price of uh, the producer price of cocoa. The president said we will not do that. Uh, we're told here that the Savannah Regional Minister orders closure of Chinese timber firm. I guess uh, it has to do with the rosewood uh, smuggling uh, issue. Daily Guide 2016 election rigged. That's according to uh, President Muhammad. Daily Guide has a photograph of um, the president and the former AC boss, and also uh, free senior high school get uh, 1.7 billion cities in 2019. Those are the stories. The BNFT says new home-based airline, government ET, I, I guess Ethiopia Airlines, finalized strategic partnership agreement. Uh, that's uh, the story on the BNFT this morning. My guest to do the talking is a member of parliament for the Adaklu constituency, a member of the NDC. Honorable uh, Kwame Agboja is here. Kwame, good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing great. Um, Adaklu is uh, in a state of mourning. Mm. Uh, we lost uh, Honorable Steve Akoli, the former MP, former Minister of Road and uh, Transport. And uh, we are making preparations for his the funeral. funeral towards the end of the month. Uh, mm. On the 24th. 24th uh, of May. We, yeah, we'll do a pre-burial service at uh, a Global Evangelical Church, uh, Adonai Chapel, mm. uh, between East Lagos and Medina. And then uh, that same day, we would head towards uh, Pechu, uh, our hometown, where mm. he will be uh, uh, buried on the 25th, which is a Saturday. So we are praying and uh, asking all of you to come and be yes. with us Saturday. Yes, we'll certainly be part of you. Now, how's your chairman doing, uh, Mr. Fusampo? Well, uh, he's doing very well in the uh, an era where the government uh, deliberately is taking a decision to uh, frustrate our party uh, by consistently uh, uh, framing up stories and then uh, making the party uh, spend much of the time uh, instead of doing party work at the police station. But then I want to take the opportunity to uh, ask the TV3 uh, network, uh, th three network, mm. uh, to consider this. Uh, this is a very, very credible uh, network where got people, a lot of people in this country uh, rely on accuracy of information. Uh, your network carried uh, an information that uh, Honorable Fosu Ampofo mm. uh, did, uh, 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 had a meeting with the DNI behind uh, the scene at the dawn. The party insists that that never took place. He didn't, he didn't uh, go he, he there. Never, he never met them. So I'm uh, encouraging TV3 network to do the needful mm -hmm. by retracting the story and apologizing to the, the uh, Honorable Fosu Ampofo and the NDC because we insist if you have any evidence to that, put it out. But if you don't, mm. uh, do the needful by apologizing to the chairman and the NDC. Okay, let, let, let's clarify. So, Mr. Vosampofu did not meet the CID uh, as is being uh, insisted? Not at all. That, uh, he, he, he secretly met the CID at the dawn, uh, at the dawn meeting, uh, not known to anybody. That never happened. It is a creation that the a sec a sec a section of the national security, which is uh, in the hands of government, uh, is using to spill out uh, fake news. Mm. And I, 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 I was surprised that uh, TV3 Network got caught up in this uh, spread of fake news by a section of the mm. national security, which is uh, being used by the, the, the government. I think your network is a very credible one. And I, I, I believe that once you're now aware that that meeting didn't take place, uh, you should do the needful by uh, 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 coming out clearly to say you got it wrong and apologize to the chairman and the party. Right. So we'll take a look at that. But on the Daily Graphic this morning, government won't reduce producer price of cocoa. President assures farmers. President of Kufuado has assured cocoa farmers that the government will not reduce the current producer price of cocoa in spite of the plummeting world market price. The guaranteed price per the government paid to farmers in the 2018-2019 main season, that's 7,600 uh, per tonne. That's the, the bigger uh, the bigger bag, and then uh, 475 bag 
uh, per bag of the 64 kilogram. President Kufado said he took the decision not to reduce the producer price because farmers had been producing the wealth of the nation. Besides, he said, though the toil of farmers, or through the toil of farmers, a lot of activities in the country were being subsidized, and it is only fair that when things turn up against them, the state should come in to help. President gave the assurance when he received a delegation of uh, Ghana Cocoa Coffee and Share Not Farmers Association at the Jubilee House. Um, if you remember, uh, this story has been raging. The president assurance came against the backdrop of a recent call by the IMF for the government to reduce the producer price of cocoa to reflect changes in international cocoa prices. According to the IMF, the downward adjustment would help cocoa board deal with its current funding gap of one billion. So that's it. Um, at the seventh and eighth review under the recently concluded IMF program, the IMF said the gap had been due to the government's inability to reduce the producer price paid to cocoa farmers at a time global prices of the crop had been falling. That's the story. Um, uh, sure, farmers would be happy, but uh, Kwame, w w should anybody be talking about IMF asking uh, government to do this because we've been told that we don't even, we have uh, ended the deal with IMF. And so if the IMF is still giving instructions, uh, should anyone be asking uh, why? Let's start from, uh, from here. Well, first of all, Bright, you know that uh, we are, Ghana is still a member of the IMF. Mm. And uh, the reason we are part of that, part of the reason we are part of the IMF is to uh, uh, be guided by the data and, and, and I mean, uh, basically uh, help us get some understanding of what happened globally in right. terms of prices and things like this. And uh, indeed, uh, we, we exited a program. Mm. That doesn't mean that Ghana is out of the IMF. Indeed, that we don't have dealings with them anymore. Uh, well, it, it, you, it's arguable because today I keep saying that even if you were to go to borrow from anybody else, they're mm. still going to find out from IMF what they think about their the debt for portfolio and other things. So. Uh, nobody can say that Ghana is uh, a, 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 at a place now where we can decide to ignore whatever IMF says and do whatever we like. We can't, we can't do that because we live in a, in a global community. Any serious lender would, would actually go back and open the book and find out what does IMF say about the health of our economy mm. uh, before they do anything. But uh, with the substantive issue of cocoa, I, I don't think the government would have any moral justification to even re uh, contemplate reducing the, the price. If you remember, not too long ago, uh, government under the NDC, President Mahama, made some arrangement. And in fact, uh, consistently, cocoa producer price was increased over a period of time. And gov uh, farmers were used to producer prices being increased uh, Every year, year. Year, year, year on year. Uh, sadly, when this government came, uh, they refused to increase uh, producer price. So uh, th at the same time, the, the exchange rate and other things uh, caused the inputs into farming went up. And uh, so cocoa farmers were actually done in with, with, with uh, regards to that. You also re recollect that uh, fertilizer that was bought with the, the proceeds of cocoa in the previous year by the previous government, NDC government, mm -hmm. that was supposed to be given to farmers for free, was rather sold to them at half price. So something that they, were, they ought to have benefited for free, the pre-NPP government sold it to them. So basically you are, they are selling your your own product to you uh, at the subsidized price, which should have been uh, for free. Uh, uh, secondly, you notice that the cost of inputs are still high because the, the, the city uh, uh, is still under pressure from the, all other major uh, trading currencies. So w if you add all these things, I don't know how it was going to be possible for the government to uh, even think of reducing the, 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 the producer price of cocoa, knowing very well that year on year they failed so far Mm. to increase that and year on year when cost of input to, uh, to farming has increased I, I think it is it is we should rather be calling for uh, a, a, an increase not a, a decrease because for two years we're in the third year no increase I don't think farmers are, are, are better off so mm. government should actually be cons considering increasing the, the, cocoa, uh, the producer price to be able to cushion farmers in terms of the, 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 the high cost of input if, and cost even of though on the world market the price is, is, is falling well, they made savings. The fertilizer that was supposed to be given to them for free, mm. you sold it, so the money is there. So you can, you can actually use part of that money to uh, 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 cushion them. And for the two years that they failed to increase the prices, they actually built some reserve. And I'm saying that they don't need to go and uh, use money from anywhere else to, to do that. 
they should be able to do that within the, the, the budget. Don't forget, this same government uh, has suspended almost all cocoa roads that were supposed to improve evacuation of cocoa and reduce the cost uh, to farmers and, and haulaging uh, companies. This government suspended uh, that. Uh, you know my running battle with the uh, cocoa board chairman and the, the board when they lied to this country that uh, some cocoa roads never existed, that some cocoa road contracts were inflated. Uh, we, are in the, we are in the third year. Uh, they, they failed to actually produce the report which shows that, which is why I say that, that the chief executive lied to a committee in parliament when he, when he said that there's evidence to, to that effect. We are in the third year. I'm still calling for that report, which I call the dodgy report, as to where, whether cocoa uh, road uh, contracts were inflated. So cocoa, road, cocoa farmers have been shortchanged on ev at every turn, north, south, east, and west. Cocoa roads, which were supposed to be benefit them to enhance their, their productivity, have been suspended. Today, we are told that all those projects have been relocated to the Ministry of Road and, Trans uh, Road and Highways to look for new funding to them. Some of them, uh, we are told, have been picked up by Sino Hydro under the Sino Hydro project. We are here to see what is being uh, done about that. But Cocoa Board continued to draw huge billions in terms of uh, the syndicated loan. And what we saw, rather, was a chunk of the money mm -hmm. going into administration and operations, which doesn't actually lead to uh, enhance uh, or improve the condition of living uh, or, or productivity of cocoa farmers, but rather things that they spend at the office to make themselves comfortable. They put more money into that and rather cut back on putting money in cocoa roads and other things, which will benefit cocoa farmers uh, uh, directly, and then also sell a free cocoa fertilizer to farmers when they should, we shouldn't be paying a dime for it. Okay. So cocoa farmers have suffered a lot <laughs> under this government, and I'm sure when the NDC government, inshallah, returns in 2021, I believe that the, the President Mahama would continue to pay attention to cocoa farmers because I agree with something the President said, cocoa remains the backbone of this country. Mm. People don't realize that we are better off putting all the money we put into oil into cocoa, into cocoa. because the, uh, the revenue we get from cocoa till today is more than what we get from, uh, uh, from oil. Like the quantum of cash we dole out, the, the exemptions to the oil companies and everything and mm. the, the, the hype about oil, if we were to apply the same amount of attention and resources to cocoa, we'll be better off. Okay, L let's take a look at this one in the Ghanaian Times. Don't smuggle subsidized fertilizer. The president is asking farmers to help government um, stop uh, the smuggling of cocoa to Burkina Faso and La Côte d'Ivoire. Uh, we take taxpayers' money to subsidize fertilizer. It is not correct that a few people for their uh, selfish interest will take this, which has been subsidized by the hard working sweat of the Ghanaian farmer, and go and smuggle it into Burkina Faso and Cote d'Ivoire. When we do that, we are hurting ourselves because the fertilizer subsidy is not coming from President Kufado's personal pocket. I don't have that kind of money, and it's coming from the coffers of the state. So th th that's a story. Um, fertilizer smuggling is still on. Quite worrying. We've tried to deal with it, but it is still on. Well, uh, I, I'm sure this is no, not uh, uh, news that is coming from 2019 mm. alone. That, that's the story about cocoa smuggling has been around for, for some time, and governments do struggle to f try and find a way of curtailing it. But what's surprising, what's worrying, though, is that the government or the president didn't give any indication as to how we're going to stop it. Uh, telling cocoa farmers to stop uh, to help stop smuggling. I doubt if there's any genuine cocoa farmer there who gets farm inputs mm. that he or she need to use on her farm to increase productivity and go and sell it. If that is the case, then it means that the farmers are realizing that it is no longer lucrative to, to grow cocoa. Then it should be a bigger concern to government. But once the president cannot prove that cocoa farmers are the, the ones behind smuggling of cocoa, I, I would urge the president to look closer to himself. Uh, closer to himself because I'm sure the distribution of cocoa and premix is heavily politicized. So it is the people at the peak of the distribution that the president should be talking to. Not the farmers. No, because I'm not aware of any farmer, any genuine farmer who takes cocoa uh, input and then go and sell it. That's what I'm saying. That if it happens, it, it would have suggested that that farmer probably thinks that it's no longer lucrative to grow cocoa. But you see, what the president said just uh, suggests uh, uh, something to me, like when uh, Madame Tiwa, the CID boss, would come out and say that uh, she knows where people, uh, the, the kidnapped uh, girls are, uh, yet can't go and, and rescue them. The president is talking about uh, evidence of cocoa smuggling. 
And I'm saying that fertilizer the fertilizer, uh, cocoa, uh, fertilizer uh, smuggling. If there's ev evidence is there, uh, you, it's a new government. Find a way of, of, of stopping it. Don't ask farmers alone to, uh, uh, to help because as far as I'm concerned, the, 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 the diversion and uh, ex uh, illegal export of fertilizers, as the president is saying, cannot be a uh, handiwork of the farmers. It could be the people at the, the center of the distribution. Mm -hmm. And those people, I'm saying, historically, not only under this government, have been people close to government. So the president should look closer to himself rather than looking on the farms where uh, I, I doubt the, 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 the problem is. Grateful. Let me uh, introduce my second guest, a uh, member of parliament for the uh, photo constituency, Robert Alexander Fumi Marken is here. Good morning. Yes, sir. <coughs> Hope you're doing great. My grace, I'm fine. Thanks for joining us. And uh, we're mm. talking about uh, smuggling. The president is asking farmers to help stamp out the practice. Some have suggested that, they, I mean, it could be a, a practice that, is, that starts from the top of the chain, but not really the farmers. Well, right. Um, thank you for the opportunity. Um, you see, sometimes when everything is politicized, it's be it becomes, I mean, we have difficult. Because you see, we've invested so much uh, in that sector. People were getting into people's farms, uh, urging them to explore the possibility of uh, uh, doing galamse. And our farmers were selling their, their farms. I mean, cutting down their cocoa trees. I've cited mm. an example. I remember 2015 on the House floor in a, in a debate. I raised this issue that my own relatives who are, you know, farming on the family land in Asin Fosu came to me for money to buy excavator because they claimed that their friends were selling their farms. So people sold the Galamse idea to our farmers. At the point where it was uh, 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 cheaper to get some farm input in neighboring countries, they were going there. At a point where it was cheaper to get it here, people were crossing the border mm -hmm. to come to Ghana to get, you know, um, some farm input here. And even cocoa, uh, where, where cocoa itself got smuggled out of the country. So I think that it's a call. On, on, on our farmers. I also agree that, yes, those in the value chain cannot be left out. Yes, that is true. But to say that they are political appointees, that I disagree. You, you're not sure? No, no, it's not that I'm not sure. It's, it is not factual. Party people? Please, with respect. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, I am I'm making a fact. It is not under the NPP. But no, no, know, it is not, I'm not talking about NPP. I'm saying that we know. having stated the value we chain, those involved in the distribution cannot be said to be party people. They are not. Ah, why? How can they be party people? I don't know. Uh, unless you have some facts to you, prove you to what you're saying. That no, it's not that I have not seen it. Mm. The, the, the chain has nothing to do with party people. So don't let us bring it in. Rather, let us question those who take advantage of the system. All right? Take advantage of the system. Explore it. Exploit it. And at the end of the day, mm. their conduct affecting the economy. That is where we should focus on. Else, we would get petty in trying to say party here, party there. Are it, we trying to say or oh, it is the situation? Are we trying to do what? Are we trying to say it or oh, it is the situation? Well, the situation is we are becoming generally unpatriotic across board. Else, a Chinese ambassador will not tell us bluntly, that Chinese don't know where our cocoa, uh, our, 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 our gold is. This morning, whilst coming, uh, I was listening to the news. Rosewood, Chinese involved. Uh, Savannah region, the minister had to uh, uh, put an eyes on some uh, a Chinese company's operation. But you see, the bottom line is Ghanaian companies are aiding them. Ghanaians are aiding them. Ghanaians are supporting them, our chiefs, opinion leaders, stakeholders. So it is not a one-sided matter. Mm. It is a general call on all of us that, look, let's get a bit more patriotic. I have, by, by virtue of my being part of ECOWAS parliament, I have traveled around a bit. I say Ghana is better off. What is left is for us to change our attitude. 
It is for us to obey our laws. It is for our pol political uh, stakeholders to allow the system to develop. You don't target like these people, my friends. They target uh, Tiwa, a CID boss, as if she is the head of, of, of the police administration. If there is a system problem, deal with it. Don't overly politicize it. Mm. Don't be desperate. Don't be irresponsible. If a political party can say that our chairman has been invited by the police, he won't go boldly. What are you telling your food soldiers down there? What are you telling other Ghanaians? Don't obey the laws because you have a suspicion. Obey the laws, even if you have your suspicion. Push it and expose those who are uh, uh, abusing powers. Then you'll be, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be applauded. But if on the mere invitation you say that, don't obey the laws, we won't go, and you are bored about it, where are we taking Ghana to? So, you see, there's a problem. It's not because MPP is in government, I would be saying that, oh. Who, who created the problem? Us. Why? All the social interventions in, in, in the First Republic, Second Republic, look at that champion regime. Many industries were set up. Sometimes in my own backyard, people say, oh, no, bo. I said, ah, all the huge investments made by the government at the time, who collapsed for Mazi poultry? We the Ghanaians, the workers. If you steal the egg, steal the bed, the, the, the fuel, and all that, all the state investments that were made, the industries that we had to privatize, now who caused them? It is us. So let us, let us take advantage of Mr. President's call to change our attitude in all sectors so that Ghana will be better for all of us. Okay. Simple as it is. I'm grateful. Kwame, you, well, you want to reaction? respond to oh. your, your, your attack on uh, Tiwa? Uh, the, the, the NDC. You say when you come, you are going to move Please allow him to respond. When you come, you are going to sack him. I don't allow him to respond. No, no, I just want to give him more, more, more information NDC so that he can debate. It's not targeting. Mm. That's the, what you're doing. Uh, you know it. The, uh, Madam Tiwa. Mm. You say Madam you sack Tiwa him. has shown bias and political view in doing her work. Oh, come on. NDC has so much respect for the police as an institution, but we abhor the behavior of Madame Tiwa. On the same occasion when Madame Tiwa, who was alleged to have in the infamous uh, uh, A-plus tape, have been, have been caught on tape suggesting how he will, will bend the rules for, for his, her party, today is suggesting that, though our chairman said that that is not his voice, is asking the chairman, and, and do you know what they do? Anytime there's going to be a party meeting, they invite. They, oh. they, they invite. So they, Madam Tiwa's behavior should be separated from the police administration. And as long as the president urges us not to be spectators, nobody should condone the political victimization, intimidation, and cajoling of this government. And the point is that every government has got a termination point. No matter what this government does with all these trumped up uh, 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 cases and other things, it will come to an end. Why should, why should end? And, and my, my good friend... Kwame, can I come in? My good friend is not aware. My good friend is not aware. My good friend is not aware. I want to chip in something. He's not aware that the members of his party, including the current chairman, including Honorable Osafo, uh, Osafo Mafo, openly told the police, I will, I will not attend to your, to, uh, to, to your invitation. And guess what? The difference here is that Honorable Fosu and Pofo's legal representation did meet the, the police and submitted whatever they needed to submit. The, the, the insistence that Honorable Fosuan Pofo is already in court should automatically always run to Madame Tiwa and sometimes when you get there, they will tell you she's not in the office. We believe it's just a political tool just to weaken NDC. And this call, I'm saying, is to the NDC. It is not up to uh, Madame Tiwa or President Akufuado. Their intention, their vision is clear. Mm. Do whatever it is to intimidate and actually make NDC weak so that 2020 will be easier for them. It is up to the NDC to take it and, and say that with everything they, they say, let's, let's go ahead and do it. The other, the other time, I was taking them on an issue of, of, of uh, even Sino Hydro when the contract says that until you do value for money, the contract can't start. Uh, 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 can, can start. Didn't the president, who is a lawyer, go and cast out before the value for money was done? Is that not a, a, a breach of the law as well? I mean, we are, we are ready to work with the police all the time. But when you consider that by 2020, the policeman that will be sent to Adakutu to, to conduct the election may actually be one of those people 
who are foot soldiers of NPP, who have now been trans, uh, transmogrified into, uh, how do you call it, a police to appear in Adaklu, should, am I supposed to consider those as a genuine police? Today, when a policeman stops me, should I consider him as a genuine policeman or a, a double type of policeman? The risk that we are doing to this country, the trouble we are piling up ahead, it is not going to be about NDC. It is going to be about the people one day. And that is why I urge civil society, genuine Ghanaians, don't see this as an NDC, NPP matter. Tomorrow, when a new government comes and have a list, EC, uh, AC boss, go. Everybody go. These people go. Everybody go. Would the same civil society, genuine people in our society, keep quiet if you just find any reason? And don't forget, to sack an EC boss in this country, the president has been said, all you need to do is incompetence. So even if she were to sign and date something, and she dates it well, that is incompetent. The EC boss could, could be sacked. Is that the kind of Ghana, Dr. Nkrumah, wish we have today? It's up to the, the, the okay. people of this country. I'm grateful. Right. Um, I don't know if you can wrap up uh, on this one from let's yes. move on. Right. You see, set an agenda, follow the rules, and at the end of the day, when we see that you have followed the rules, we would all be happy with you. I don't get the NDC in all the attempt to crucify Madame Tiwa. First of all, first of all, is she the IGP? She's not. Tiwa report to a boss. So when she writes to you, you should take it as a letter coming from the police. Are you suggesting that uh, whatever she does, her department does, mm. it is done without the knowing of the IGP? Is that the suggestion you want to make? You see, I have a problem with the NDC. Deal with the issue. You see, you are a mature political party. You are now allowing extremists to dictate how you should run your party. And that is a problem. You need to behave as a party that has been in government before. You need to behave as a party that is well prepared to run the country if you get the opportunity. But it is not about everything you want to scuttle it. That is unfair. That is improper. That is not good politics. That is not maturity. That's the point I want Kwame and his group to know and understand. For instance, let me give you an example. We heard of the Medina, Adenta Medina footbridge issue where many people were being killed and the NDC raised an issue. You know what? When government took it up, money to complete it, I was expecting a statement to be issued by the NDC and other civil only, society. Only one has been completed. Not, not uh, completed. So one has been completed. It right. has. Mm. You, at least you have pictures. Yes. Good. Thank you. I was expecting the NDC, its affiliate bodies, individuals, journalists, who made the call mm. for that to be done, to come and at least, in a short statement, government, thank you, you've done well. But is that Rather, your job? Why don't you pay yes, for doing what you're good. supposed to do? I will make the point. I will yes. explain why, to you why. Why we praise Very you? Well. That's your job to good. praise. So why do we praise good. you? So if you wouldn't praise, don't take it to social media to now ridicule government on the engineering. We cannot talk about it. Oh, it's I our see. It's our taxes. But it has been done. Yes. It's, and your job to do I'm it. saying it's been so done. We will not praise you for doing what you're supposed so to do. So you would say but radically. can't we talk about it? So you would ridicule it? Yeah, and that is what it is ridicule, but can't we that, talk about that it? Is, that is what the NDC is doing. No. And that is what some people are also following. But now, I, again, I let, me get, let me come to You don't have the right to talk about it. I've never said that. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I am saying that criticize when it is wrong, commend when it is done. That is the point I'm making. I am not saying that... Don't criticize. Come on. How can mm. I say let that? Me, let me but at least if today, mm. Seke Janu Road in Winneba, Seke Janu Yepimsu Road, a member of parliament, you are moving. You say, ah, road is one year. Then the MP moves in with the MCE, the lobby, gets it done. You see it asphalted. The next thing is, oh, MP, are you cool? At least you've heard us. I'm saying that. He's telling you. I'm saying that. You. I'm saying okay. that for the NDC, they immediately were sworn in. And we came into office. Mm. Yes, your free SHS has implemented, and let's see. We start implementing it. They say, oh, you don't have enough chairs. There are no desks. There are no classrooms. OK, the next year, there will be higher intake, double track, so that you can employ more teachers, 
so that you can employ more auxiliary staff. Then the same NDC will come and say, double track is killing our educational system. You see? So what do you want the government to do? You are not even commending. Today, that we don't have people desperate, not getting best to sleep on. Because with a double track, you are able to free the classrooms to give you space to increase the infrastructure. That is moving slowly. You will get the NDC still criticizing, and today, you say that uh, the 2016 election was rigged. That's why you got into a digression. <laughs> I am not. I don't want to say you're not. I wonder general, why you want us to praise you for that, something that, you should I'm, do. I'm, I'm, not you praise. Praise. I'm saying commend. Okay. okay. That, I'm not why you want us to said, commend you for what you have No, no, no. So is, 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 is it misplaced? Everybody. But are you saying it's misplaced? It's not misplaced. No. But the way you are insisting. No, no, no. That's why we should go ahead and commend you for everything No, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that. that's your job to do. your job to do. Right. Isn't it okay to make construct? Uh, criticized constructively. What it is? Isn't it okay to raise an issue it is. that this thing is not right? It is. Is it equally not okay to appreciate it when it is done? It is. Thank you. You've you've answered you, 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 you answered, answered me. You want us to so, have a festival because a, a uh, food you, you see, <laughs> you've answered. Now you want <laughs> to call it back. Okay, I don't want to feel back and I'm grateful. My, my daughter should just okay, relax. Grab a cab, as let, let's as move a minority on. spokesperson uh, on road and transport. We know already. <laughs> we know already. <laughs> he, he know already. He <laughs> should be told. And <laughs> minister <laughs> has been doing well in your constituency. He's giving you some notes. Hold on. Why are you not talking about it? I'll get it. Oh, is Oh, oh yes, he's robbing the minister. He's robbing some notes. Are you not getting roads? Let me, let me, let me. He should go and check. Check which I, one? I stood and said, the, the bridge that became a laughing stock on social media was not supposed to be a museum or an aesthetic feature, though a bridge can be an aesthetic feature. Mm. It was addressing a safety issue. So the engineers took into account data available and the need. So anybody in NDC will tell you that my commentary, even on social media about this, is that Though you may have your reason for calling it uh, whatever, uh, whatever, mm. I feel that engineers did what was necessary, addressed a specific issue. I've never, as a no, I'm not talking about you. So now let your party say, people know say, that so it's a perfect that, engineering so way. Say that every, let your party people to know to say that everybody in NDC was ridiculing it. Of course, it looked ridiculous if you if your your mind is not initiated about the, the engineering. Step taking, to, to address an engineering issue, you would have said that. I mean, I'll clap for you. You are an honest man. Oh, no, no, as an individual, no. Today, today, no, no, call me. Let me say it publicly. Right. I want to know. That you know no, honest. no, yes, right. You see, we are doing politics. It's an image issue. If my brother, who is an expert in that field, has today said it, that look, you, it may look ridiculous. Mm. It may appear so. But professionally, a good engineering work has been done. I commend him it's, it's, for that honest view. It's, it's, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's but not, his party it's must my, take a cue. It's, my, it's, it's been on my Twitter handle for more than Call a week. Call me. Okay. Call me. Yes. Give me five. It's been well. on my Twitter handle for <laughs> more than a week. Give me five. Okay. But, but your party people uh, must but, hear you. Let, let, your let's party people on. must but, hear you. But, Government but, has done a good job. But there's, there's an issue of projects. You know, he certainly confirmed that a, pro, a road had been done in his village. As a CTA, right. Not a millimeter of road have been done in Adakru since 2016. But he's your man. That is, that is your that friend. That is, that is, that you that are lobbying. Well, well, what you I have also noticed as a minority spokesperson on road and uh, 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 highways is, is this. Government has gone ahead to actually activate projects in areas they perceive to be their strongholds and deliberately ignore every ongoing project, more or less in every, every area, they don't consider to be their stronghold. So I'm not surprised that an asphaltic uh, uh, road has been completed in this area when even a gravel road has not been started in Adapu. Indeed, the, the minister, I mean, I must comment. I must comment. I must tell you, almost over 80% of the roads in Adapu were, were, were put on, uh, on uh, were, were uh, arranged for construction by the end of 2016. Majority of these have been were, were stopped uh, as part of uh, one thing or the other. Indeed, the current minister, after pleading with him, agreed to reactivate some of those projects. But as we speak, Nothing none of them. But it's been initiated. No, you know. Some of them. I'm uh, saying. Kwame, uh, I've, I've seen. I've seen. I've seen. Document. Kwame, I've, I've, I mean, I've just praised you. Kwame, Kwame, is, it, is it possible that you're not being commending government when it does little, so you are not getting it? For me, for me, where I've reached in my life now, government. I say that there's no reason to lie to gain anything in politics. Mm. Where I've reached right now, there are enough facts for me to use against government than to, to lie. Mm. I'm saying that currently, in Volta region, I'm here to see a single road project which is actively going on. However, 
when I travel through Eastern Region, Ashanti Region, and other region, the, the president considers as a stronghold. I see contractors on site. Okay. I'm saying that when NDC was in power, we did not do this. In fact, the investment in Eastern and Ashanti Region was more than in, in Volta Region. Though NDC get vote, but you see. I commend NDC government right from President Rawlings until today because the country must be developed fairly, not because you get votes from there. So today, if you see a contractor going to Adaklu on roads, they are just going back to do what was started and was stopped. Mm. So it has nothing, it, it is nothing new. Okay. If the government does anything good, I'll commend them. I've just commended okay. them that they have addressed one of the bridges at uh, this because at, as far as I'm right. concerned, the, the footbridge was not about uh, a, a tourist attraction for no. us to go and watch. It was supposed to save lives. Is it saving lives at, uh, at, uh, at a reasonable cost? I'm happy with it. I'm not going to deal with uh, right. the issues. That, I, I okay. can't even stop people who have been doing the right. social media. No, you don't know them, right. so you can't stop. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, right. Uh, to conclude on this, we're, we're to conclude on this yeah. matter, uh, Kwame has raised an important matter. Road situation in his constituency is bad. Mm. He very, says, very bad. Yes, you've said so. Yeah. It's a matter of record. Yeah. Is it also your contention that no other infrastructure has been considered or has taken off ever since this party MPP came to office? Is that your contention also? No, that's not my contention. My contention. This is a vote. All right. So, no, 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 I'll mention. No. The, the government was trying to build a, a, a youth center in every region. Mm. The one for Volta region, surprisingly, and I've made this point a, a couple of times, because the Volta regional capital is whole, they could not get the size of land to accommodate that. Land that Adakul people donated to government to build a multi the youth purpose, center. No, well, listen, sports complex, mm. they took part of it to build the youth center. So you notice that the signboard at the site was reading Ho. When we took them on, the regional minister did the NIFU and said that it would be changed to uh, Adaklu. Adaklu. But when you read the budget statement, the minister, the president, well, when the president cut the sword, the, 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 the sports minister cut the sword, he called the place Adaklu. When the, the president came to do the second sword cutting of the same project, he called it. Uh, uh, Adaklu, the, the, the minister called it a uh, 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 ho. Mm. Now, in this budget statement, it is back to, to right. ho. So right. the question is, where is it being built? Oh, it's, it's, it's going on. But it was never a project meant I agree. for Adaklu. Very well. Very well. Okay. So right. it oh, was not meant in conclusion. Okay. In conclusion, okay. right, please. Another conclusion. This is a fact check. I mean, this is a fact based uh, platform, yeah. please. Okay. In conclusion, yeah. the youth center, yeah. which is a major infrastructure project, was which was not meant for Adaklu. Is being constructed in your constituency. Okay. Straight into in, very well. So, in conclusion, although government hasn't done well in terms of roads, yeah. the but youth centre is, is being done. It's not Correct. a priority to us. <laughs> well, but it's been done. Our water and road is a priority. <laughs> very well. okay. Water, you've not spoken to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've not spoken <laughs> to me. <laughs> on water. The, the, the man chairs got no, water uh, company, but no, say, 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 it is Pudo to him. It is Pudo and my senior Koshiga who are spoken to me. So it's yes. So then go to community water and sanitation. All right. If I don't to the the Spanish water project and then the the five DC water project. Up to now, they, they've, they've not finished. No, they haven't even brought the next one. Well, that is community water. The money is not at uh, finance. I am they, grateful. They, no, no, they no, are no, it's a donor funded. They, yes, they so donor, water very well. Yes, yes. yes. So, so it will be done. So, but you so, have the social, so you the youth center. I know maybe you could have helped, but unfortunately, in this, on this occasion, <laughs> you couldn't help because <laughs> you have city grateful. water. We but are grateful. But if we deal with fact this way, honorable members of parliament, I am grateful for your money. And that is why we have to wrap this way. Yes, we have to wrap up. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. Yes. I want to give you more rest after the weekend. No, uh, no, we don't need, we don't need you rest. You need rest. Have a fantastic <laughs> Monday morning. <laughs> Alexander, for your market, MP for a foot too. Kwame Agbeja is MP for other clues. Grateful Mischief. for your money. <laughs> right, Mr. <laughs> Stay here. But, but let's, let's, information about the NDC. Yes, we, 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 we'll, deal with, we'll deal with it. Uh, we are told that Ms. Ampofu never attended. Yes, uh, that's from Kwame. Yes. Stop yes. the desperation. Be more responsible. You've been in power before. You yes. were there eight years. <laughs> Somebody's four years. You are desperate. You stay there. Okay, you were there eight here. years.